Hey Aquarius, this is going to be your April 2023 reading. It's going to be general, but we're going to see what messages need to come through. I'm going to follow it up with a love reading after this session of general readings. Your um, spring equinox reading is already out, and I paired it up with the new moon in Aries that's taking place tomorrow. So if you haven't seen that, you can head over and check that out on my page. Always take what resonates, and then at any time you would like me to tune into just your energy, you can click on the link below. It's in every description box. It takes you over to my Etsy shop, and over there I offer a variety of personal readings. All right, we're going to see what is coming towards my Aquarians. For April... 2023. All right, well, the full wanted to come out, but it did not flip over. So we're going to go with, oh, somebody's taking a leap of faith. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. And looky, looky, this wanted to come out. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. Hmm. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. For my Aquarians for April 2023. Time to take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. It's like take time to take that deep breath. You know, breathe in that fresh air. Breathe out any negative thoughts. Or anything that's just holding you back. I also feel with this blue energy, I'm getting the throat chakra. So I'm feeling like communication coming in, Aquarius. A quick reminder, um, for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm happy you're here. I do monthly giveaways as my way of paying back for the journey I've experienced here and then over in my Etsy shop. So I'm offering two 25 to 35 minute readings for free. So you just need to be a subscriber and for this month, leave a green emoji of some sort that you're drawn to in your phone, maybe like a four leaf clover, a plant, a green heart, whatever it is that you want to leave in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of March. And this holds true for each and every month. At the end of the month, I'm gonna randomly choose two people, because for this month it's two people, and be reaching out to you through YouTube initially. So at the end of the month, I'll remind you to check your notifications. And then I'll get the information that I need from you, and we'll take it from there. All right, TikTok. A card of three. So you see how like almost anxious this person is holding the clock, like as if time's about to write, run out. Maybe something coming towards you in divine timing. Maybe you're thinking about something and procrastinating on making a decision. We'll see. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. So you may have Earth in your chart, but with the Nine of Pentacles, it's you're being very focused on yourself, your stability. It's harvesting the rewards of your labor, the effort that you've put into yourself, loving yourself and providing that safety and security. Okay, so what is Aquarius's current energy for April? For April. 2023 king of wands you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius energy what is the current situation for aquarius 
twin flame connection. Guys, watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings also because somebody else got this twin flame connection. And I feel like only one other sign got this. So it could be your twin flame connection for those of you going through a twin flame journey. This uniting of twin flames could be happening in March or in March, in April of 2023. I feel like you have done the work. You've put your work into your journey. You've planted those seeds and now something is coming to fruition. Please clarify the twin flame current energy. Please clarify the twin flame current energy for my Aquarians. Five of Swords feeling defeated. There has been a walking away from a higher level of commitment here. And for those of you that have fire in your chart, it's like you know, you're in your you're in control. You're being the leader of your own life. You're moving towards things with su success. Um, you know, you're not letting anything hold you back. So I definitely feel for those of you that it is a twin flame connection. It's you're definitely in a great energy for a union. But for those of you that it's a fire sign, they're feeling defeated. All right, what is the past energy? Yeah, the five of wands. Walking away from struggles and burdens. Focusing on yourself. Thriving. What does the future hold? Look at this. The future holds the Two of Cups, the con the connection, and look at this, it also came out, the Eight of Wands, progression. The Seven of Swords, you know what I'm getting with this? It's not that I feel somebody is hiding how truly, how truly messed up they are in separation from you. I feel like they they realized they had deeper feelings for you than they realized. They could have been overwhelmed with the connection that they felt with you. All right. What is the energy that Aquarius needs to embrace? The energy that Aquarius needs to embrace. Judgment, renewal energy for yourself, going through self-evaluation, letting go and getting that, you know, that serenity within you, letting go and being at peace with yourself of what happened with the past. And what is the energy that Aquarius needs to let go of? The tower. Yeah, say for some of you, it, it's something that you didn't want to happen. It's an ending that, you know, you, you weren't expecting. You didn't want. You didn't want this change to occur. And it also could be the tower of thoughts that go on in your head that you're not letting go of. Please clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's energy. Please clarify the King of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. See, you're, you're very focused and dedicated towards your work. There might be something that you're really good at, that you're staying very focused to that and dedicated to that. But I got to tell you, here is this divine masculine energy showing up with this twin flame connection so for some of you and if it's not a twin flame connection it's a higher level of connection like possibly a soulmate
All right, Spirit, and why the Twin Flame with the Five of Swords energy for the current situation? Queen of Cups coming in emotionally grounded, knowing what they want, what they want to offer. They think about you all the time. And why the Five of Wands? In the past, you've definitely separated and took, taken a break from this connection. You allowed yourself to clear your mind and advance forward and to receive those amazing me messages from your spirit guides to heal. I got to tell you now with the seven of swords that came out and the three of swords, it's very well that this person could, um, they could have let their family get in the way of this connection. They could have had um, a lingering energy of the past, like maybe an ex-wife or an ex-lover. They let that lingering energy, but there was definitely something not right in this connection. It could have been that they had a third party. But I feel like you definitely, yeah, see, they walked away from you and now they've realized what they've lost. All right, why the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands? For some of you, it's definitely fire energy. And I've got to say, even though there's been pain here, depending on how it resonates with your situation, it's a perfect match. The King and Queen of Wands are here. Perfect match. Totally seductive for one another. The Queen sits on her throne with her legs spread open but only calling in her king. And her king, the, the king of wands, only desires his queen. I do feel that there is going to be a leap of faith taken on both of your parts towards one another. And why is judgment here, spirit? Yeah, see, they want you to forgive them. They want to work this out. Why is the tower here for the energy that Aquarius needs to let go of? Yeah, see? You've stood your ground. You've walked away. You've allowed yourself some time to heal. <clears throat> and like I said, receive those synchronicities. Remember when I said I got that blue chakra? I mean the throat chakra with that blue energy. I feel like you moved on and leveled up and brought peace into your life. There's, there's communication coming in, fast-moving communication. And it's like they want to put the fight in for this now. All right. Spirit, advice that you have for Aquarius since there was negative energy that existed. What advice do you have? <clears throat> Allow yourself some time to heal. Be patient with yourself. This is also spirit saying they got you. With the six of cups here, I feel like them losing you was exactly what they needed to trigger them into being a better person. There's memories here. There is reminiscing. There's nostalgia. And I feel like it's all because you went silent with the high priestess. All right, guys, you're going to have to let me know how it resonates. <clears throat> you know what I'm also getting? It also could be um, with the three of swords, the, the, the type of emotional pain, like you being one. Um, you know, you being like interracial. However interracial it is for you. Like if if you're black and you were with a white woman and your family disagreed. Or if you are like of Asian descent and you went for a Spanish person, how the family may have looked at, like against that. I'm getting that type of energy too. Okay. We have you, L. 
R N D Q I O V as in Vicky or Victoria J J Jason T Tabitha L Liza a blank scrabble tile and the rest are repeats or no we have an A okay the rest are repeats so take what resonates for some of you it's definitely going to be a twin flame union for others of you I'm feeling like a soulmate connection But I definitely feel both of you felt defeated in the ending. There were obstacles. And I, I do believe it was you that walked away. And give has given yourself some time to heal. And remember, there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. But there was negative energy that existed around this person. But I feel like they're coming towards you leveled up. All right. Always let me know how it resonates. Leave that green emoji so you can take part in the 25 to 35 minute free readings. The two of them that I'm offering at the end of the month. And at any time you want me to tune in to just your energy, you can click on the link below and check out my Etsy shop. So much love and light, Aquarius. And have a great week ahead.